tell you guys like burritos. You like going to Chipotle or Cadoba, something like that, getting a burrito. Yeah, I like it too. Then I found a place, or I should, my, one of my friends, friends found a place called Panita in uh, Minneapolis over here. And it's the best burrito place ever. And in there you get these burritos. They're called barotes, actually. And they're like like that big. They'll have, I'll have a picture in the description so you can see. Compare a regular sized burrito, what these burritos look like. They're insanely huge. And they're really good. So it's like this little kind of hole-in-the-wall Mexican place. And, you know, all the Mexican people work there. And it's it's awesome and feels really, like, tra traditional. And they even have intestines as a topping. Like, intestines. I never had them yet, but they're there. So... We go there all the time, you know, and it's it's the best. I love getting the big giant burrito, and I eat half of it, and I keep the re the rest for uh, for you know the next day. It's awesome, you know. And there's a, a few troubles like there there's really no English speaking people there, so it's really not a big deal because you tell them what kind of meat you want, and they just charge you. But if you want to get weird on them and like say you want you know your tortilla extra cooked, for example, that's a real big pain. And if you're you know a vegetarian or something, and you try to tell them you don't want meat, they kind of don't get it, but, you know, we get used to that, we got all through it, then what happened is the place closed that we go to, and we were just devastated, and uh, then we discovered that it, actually, it just moved to, like, a different place, like, a mile further or something like that, so we started going there again, except for now, that place is bigger, and they had some new employees, other than the, the two we got used to, and these new employees, they kind of suck, and there's this woman who's a cashier, and she's just always really crabby and just makes you feel like an asshole for even coming in and wasting her time. So that's, you know, a bad start already. And then here's, so, so then, then the bad experiences started, which led me to never go there again, despite it being my favorite place. First, one time I wanted to get a burrito for somebody back at work. So I wanted to get a burrito for me, and then I wanted to get a second burrito for someone else. But we're going to eat there, so I needed to order it and eat my burrito, and then go back up and order a second one so it's still hot when I got it back, right? So I get my burrito, I pay for it, all that. I pay for it and everything, and then I go and eat it. And then I go back up to play for another one, and I get it all made, it's fully made, it's in the wrapping, it's waiting for me to get it, and she's like, you know, whatever, nine nine fifty or whatever. I give her my credit card, and she says, oh no, we can't use that credit card. You already paid with a credit card. I was like, what? I mean, I know I already paid the credit card. I want paying again now. Well, we can't, we can't charge you with the same. We can't charge the same credit card twice. What the fuck are you talking about? What the hell is she talking about? Does this happen? Is it? Is this? I mean, I've never had this happen to me where you can't pay with the credit card two times. Like, what the hell does that even mean? I mean, maybe there's a pop up that comes up that says, "Are you sure you want to charge the same total to the same credit card?" Because like, if you're double charging somebody, it'll it'll give you a warning. I, I that happens. I I know that for sure when I worked at places before, but you just say, yeah, I'm sure this is happening, and then you charge it twice. I mean, well, well, why would anybody not want to charge the same credit card twice if somebody wants to pay for two things? They just don't know how to read the dialogue? Or what the, what the do they even know? It's just like a warning pops up and they get scared? I mean, what the hell is going on? Does it, is there a place that you guys know? Tell me about it, because I'm really curious. This seems like the stupidest thing in the world. So I had to go back and, like, borrow money. They already made the burrito, and I had no cash. Like, if I didn't have friends with me, I would have just, what, they would have thrown it away? The fuck kind of process is this? So, you know, I went and borrowed money to fucking pay for it. And then we got it anyway. You know, I mean, I know it's not their fault if they really can't do it or they just don't understand how to use their machines. Whatever. I'm not like, that's not a bad service thing. Although they probably, I feel like she should have gotten like a manager or somebody else because there's got to be a way to do it. That seems ridiculous to me. But, you know, whatever. So then here's what happens a couple of times. I'm in the burrito line, you know, and I'm talking to my friends, whatever. We're kind of bullshitting. We're, we're having a little thing. And then... She comes up, and I always get a, a water, a cup of water. Not because I'm a cheap ass, because I'll tell you why. Because hot sauce and soda don't go well together, for, for my palate anyway. It gets really bitter or something. Like, I hate Coke and, like, Tabasco sauce together. It, it's a horrible flavor. So when I'm eating spicy foods, I like just having a water, you know. I don't mind getting, a, you know, a, a Fanta, but I just don't want one now. So I just want a water, you know. And I'm, you know, like a lot of us, I'm sure, I'm opposed to buying bottled water. I hate it. I'd rather just drink tap water. It's not a big of a deal to me, you know? So, I want a cup of water. I've always been getting it at, you know, Panita all the time. So here's what she does. The, the cashier that's so crabby. She'll charge me for a bottled water and not tell me or give it to me, okay? What she'll do is she'll charge me, and then I'm not, like, really paying attention because I'm just talking, 
and I know how much my burrito costs, so I don't really care what the total is, but I'm sure the total is, you know, ten fifty all of a sudden instead of being eight, you know. And then I give her my credit card, she'll swipe my credit card, then she'll have me sign, then the last step, she'll give me a bottle of water, like I bought it. And I'm just like holding it in my hand, going, Oh, you fucking fucking bitch, man. I don't want this shit. But what are you gonna I'm gonna argue with her now? I don't there's a line of people behind me, fuck it, I don't care. So I was I'm crabby as fuck, that's for sure. And she knows that's going to make me crabby. There's nobody who's going to be okay with that. I mean, I clearly didn't say I want a fucking Avion. I want a cup of water. You know, a cup, just a cup. So whatever. Then that happened again. The same situation happened to me again two times. I hated it both times. Really fucking mad about it, okay? So then finally, we went a couple of weeks ago. And then this is what happened. That just totally turned me off to the place. Other than her fucking cranky attitude, her fucking... Passive aggressive, you know, like 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 demeanor. Then this happens. I go up there and I very clearly announce it. I want a cup for water, not your fucking bottle. Okay. You know what she says to me? No. You can only buy a bottled water. I just can't have a cup of water anymore. I was like, oh, all right, all right. So then I just left. I went over my sat on my table. And then I just silently vow to myself that I'm never coming back here again. Because me, you know, we come in, me and like two to four of, of a rotating group of friends from work come to this place once a week, almost every single week. Like four, you know, three to five of us come every single week to get burritos at this place. They're going to they're gonna fucking alienate us. They're going to piss us off. We've been coming in for months, just every week. And they're going to tell me I can't have a cup of water because you want the fucking extra 99 cents so bad? That, that's, what, that's what it's worth to you to fucking piss us off? I can't fucking believe it. So then, rumor has it that the place where Panita used to be before it moved, a new Mexican place opened there that's very similar to Panita. So we went there, and lo and behold, it's almost exactly the same as Panita, except for with good service, and we can get our water. So there you go. That's how easy it is. Now we're just never going to fucking go back to that other place because of what they did with the water. That's bullshit. It's not how, that's not how you run a place. You know, that's not like just to piss off your customers. You know, I mean, I, I understand. I work, my parents, like I work at, as you know, I work at a pizza place, you know, every once a week and I work there full time for two years. You know, I know what it's like to have customers and it's annoying to like have everybody ask for water. But if they're already paying customers, obviously I'd rather they get a Coke and pay me. But, like, they already bought a pizza or whatever, so they can have the water. Just don't order a lemon in it. Then I, then I get really pissed off. But forget it. You know, like, I'm not going to ever tell anybody they can't have water. I even have a pop dispenser, which has a water button. I mean, and they have it here, too. How big of a fucking asshole do you got to be to, like, let somebody order food and then just choose to have water instead of soda, and then you, you go right there, you fucking make a big stand. Fuck you. That's a dick move. Especially to your regulars. You got some kind of fucking guy from Chicago coming in who you don't give a fuck about with his Brooklyn accent. Fuck him. You know what I mean? Give him a, give him a, you know, be a, be a dick to him. He's never coming back. But the people you see every week that you almost know by name, why would you piss off those people? The ones that are your most valuable clients that are going to tell everybody that their burritos are the best. You're going to piss them off. That's a bad business decision. That's what turns a brand zealot into a fucking brand terrorist, much like myself. Now I'm now I'm on the fucking internet telling everybody how much I hate this place. Is that what you need? Is that is that are you happy now that you didn't that, that you fucking charged me for that fucking bottle of water? Are you fucking happy? Well, I hope so. I hope you're fucking happy because I'm never coming back. And neither is anybody I work with. Fucking jerk. You fucking bitch.